Hi everyone, thanks for dropping by. This is an Nexonite FPV series in which I'm running a test on these two antennas you see on the screen now. 5.8 gigahertz antennas designed by um, a Dutch guy. And um, this is really the first time I've used the Pagoda with the triple patch antenna. And I just really wanted to see how it, uh, how it went. Um, prior to this flight, I tried the Pagoda antenna with my normal 10 turn helical and compared that against my homemade um, cloverleaf antenna. And the Pagoda seemed to be um, working significantly better. The video seemed to be more solid. So I thought, okay, we'll um, take off the 10 turn helical and replace that with the um, triple patch antenna. See how they go together. I didn't want to go too far out, I just wanted to go about three and a half, four kilometers and dumb see what the results are going to be. So I started this flight in the air, I didn't show the hand launch. This is my FPV Raptor aircraft incidentally. The um, VTX is a 5.8 gigahertz, supposedly 600 milliwatt uh, transmitter. I'm, I'm not sure if I uh, think it's putting out that much power or not, but uh, it was quite a small unit. Didn't come with any heat sinking or any cooling or anything on it, so I added some heat sink to the front of the transmitter unit. Actually, I think you can see it in this video when I. Uh, pan around a couple of times with the 360 uh, pan and tilt system I've got on the nose of my, my Raptor here so here we go, we're just progressing out nicely looks like just coming up on about uh, three kilometers or so there now and uh, the video is still good and strong you may see it fading in and out at times, that's me picking the um, antenna left and right for the best signal on my, on my pole that's uh, attached to the ground station really just to get a feel for the antennas and um, see how they're going to work and up till now it seems to be quite pleasing it's only up around, well, 134 meters, which is what, just around the 400 feet mark. That wasn't too high. Just let the uh, wind progress out there. We just hit four kilometers. I start a gentle turn. Video is still good, watchable, readable. Not any really bad breakup on it, so I'm quite pleased that it gets to four kilometers at uh, this sort of altitude without any breakup. So I've turned her up around and, well, nearly 180 degrees and heading back inland, just back towards uh, where I am. A little bit of break up there, that was me tweaking the antenna left and right at the optimum signal. It wasn't a bad morning. Um, I believe this is around about 9.30, 10 o'clock. Somewhere around there, that's me repeating the antenna again just making sure the uh, signal is the best I can get the one thing I have noticed the difference between the 10 turn helical that I have and this triple patch antenna is that this triple patch antenna has a much wider beam width than the 10 turn helical and that allows us to pick up easier on the position of the plane of course which is helpful
was a nice shot there over the wing. That's the video transmitter I was talking about there. That's a small VTX with the heatsink that I put on the front to try and just give the thing a little bit of cooling. It's supposed to do 200, 400 and 600 milliwatts I believe and I have it on the 600 milliwatt setting but as I said before I'm not convinced that it actually gives that much power out of it. So we'll see what happens when we start pushing the thing a little bit further in the future. Camera on this FPV Raptor is my Firefly Q6 which works pretty well and uh, gives me good results quite an expensive little camera for us guys that do this sort of thing it's quite good results the video you're seeing hasn't been edited in any way it's uh, with respect to colour enhancement or anything it's uh, raw video from the camera that I haven't done anything to uh, change the colour settings or anything it's uh, as it is so we're still heading back here nicely back towards the field Our stage is sliding off a screen there to go a full screen view of our HD video. See there a little bit of the fisheye effect from the Q6 camera. I'm not a big fan of that look, to be honest. I really do prefer a linear horizon, but uh, as I said, I haven't done anything with this video. I could have fixed that in post-production but I wanted the video to be as it came from the camera for this purposes of this test Raptor flies quite well it was a little bit breezy by this time in the morning um, it was very calm early on and the wind picked up. Wind's probably about seven, eight, nine miles an hour there. Slight headwind, I flew out with a bit of a tailwind. I know that's not a good thing to do, but it's just the circumstances, the location of the field and the way I fly. Now I always make sure I've got plenty of battery to to get back. There we go, tweaking the antenna again. Or maybe that was a diversity receiver changing from the um, triple patch antenna back to the uh, cloverleaf on the ground station. That's possibly what went on there. The video did seem to go black for a couple of seconds. At this point I'm sitting at the ground location chatting with my spotter who uh, informs me that uh, there's no light aircraft in the vicinity and as the thing was heading home I'd removed my goggles actually I, um, I just removed them and uh, I was watching the progress on the monitor on my ground station rather than in my headset goggles and um, we were chatting and then I thought I had spotted my aircraft coming back so, so I'm watching my aircraft coming back and um, the guys are saying that the 
light aircraft was more or less on the same track that I was on, considerably higher of course than I was flying um, and more or less on the same heading as me so I just continued to watch what I thought was my aircraft <laughs> returning and um, was putting some inputs in and the aircraft wasn't responding I thought that's strange and then I suddenly realised I wasn't looking at my aircraft I, I was actually following the, uh, the light aircraft and of course when I was putting inputs in it wasn't moving so I thought oh dear me something, something wrong here so uh, when I realised what was going on I quickly had to get back into the goggles there's one of the turns now actually you see <laughs> this, this was me controlling what I thought was this aircraft and in reality it wasn't <laughs> I was trying to control the full size aircraft and it was a, a weird feeling to be honest as you see I, was, I put some turns in I started my aircraft heading away from us rather than back towards us at this point so then we realised you know oh I'm looking at the wrong plane dive back into the goggles again to see where my aircraft was and uh picked it up round about here I believe and then I think I start a left turn again to head back to head back towards me there that's me back in the goggles now I've retaken control of of the Raptor <laughs> rather than the uh, the full-size light aircraft that was flying around above us I see I cut the throttle there I just thought I'd lose a little bit of altitude because I could still hear that guy around us so I just let off some altitude and came down to about uh, 50 or 60 metres to make the final approach back for my landing bit of a surreal moment it was strange to be watching what you thought you know line of sight was your plane coming back and put some inputs in and have it do nothing and then realise you <laughs> it's not your plane that you're watching weird so now I really am heading back that EPA motor pilot's still in cruise you can see the Raptor's getting buffeted around in the wind There's more altitude. I can actually fly past my field. Because the wind had also changed direction and um, it wasn't going to be good to do an FPV landing. I had again now really got line of sight after taking the goggles off so thought I would just land the thing line of sight there's the strip down there gonna go over the back make a turn an attempt to get on the strip bit of a bad crosswind at this point strips up ahead oh, close to the hedge, actually missed the strip <laughs> and went into the long stuff anyway, nothing broken everything was good stats from the flight up on the screen there now for you telling you uh, what happened during the flight see you later thanks for dropping by